Hi you guys, it's Melanie and welcome to my nephew's Dino 4 birthday party. I'm so excited to be sharing this video with you guys today. If you remember some time back, I did a haul um, showcasing items from Amazon and the Dollar Tree because so many of you guys were interested on how to throw a birthday party or a celebration on a budget. So today I am delivering it for you, so stay tuned. So this party for me was all about the details. It is so important that when you're celebrating your child or your loved one that you incorporate, you know, the things that they absolutely love. I like to do it with my wedding and event designing and decor clients as well. So my nephew absolutely loves dinosaurs, you guys. Like he loves dinosaurs. So my sister in love, Tamara, came up with this great theme of having a dino for birthday because it is his fourth birthday. And I wanted to just make sure that I incorporated all of the aspects that he loved. Now he just doesn't like like the cartoony looking dinosaurs. He likes the ones that look very realistic. And so that is why we have the inflatables from Amazon. I showed you guys these in the haul. I will link that haul video so you can go back and check it out. Also the super tall T-Rex. T-Rex is his absolutely favorite dinosaur of all time. And as you can see, this T-Rex is almost as tall as I am. So I love that aspect as well. And then I had some other little dinosaurs as well. I don't know their names, but I think he does. So if you guys know these dinosaurs, let me know down in the comments. Um, for the pterodactyl, the pterodactyl, we definitely wanted to incorporate the pterodactyl because, um, of course, you know, he loves pterodactyls and we wanted to have something that was flying to add more depth to the backdrop. My sister in love did this amazing backdrop, the balloon for the backdrop. She also does events. So it was a tag team effort in terms of family. Now for the personalization, I think it's so important for you to personalize your event. And so for this event, I wanted everyone to have t-shirts that match. And I was able to do these t-shirts. I also showed you guys me hauling the t-shirts as well. And mine says TT Saurus. I designed these on my brand new Cricut Explorer 3. It was and so easy. The process was so easy. It was scary. Like so super easy for me. I am so in love. And so everyone in our family has these t-shirts, the grandma say grandma Saurus and papa Saurus and uncle Saurus and friend Saurus. So all of his friends have customized t-shirts as well. And I just absolutely love having this personal e touch on this event. Now at the end of this video, I have a full tutorial, but I wanted to walk you guys through the Cricut Explorer. I absolutely love, love, love the new Cricut Explorer 3. Thank you so much Cricut for sponsoring this video. I love the fact that they have the new tray and you can load the paper through the tray. And because I was creating so many different t-shirts, this was a game changer for me because all I had to do was plug and print. and I love that. I love that I didn't have to stop and, you know, reload the mat or anything like that. I just had to plug and play. And so I want to kind of share with you guys the steps that I took on getting it all together. Now, the first key thing that you need to remember when you're um, attaching your tray onto the Cricut Explorer 3 is that you want to slide it onto the grooves that are located at the base of the printer. And then I also like to roll the paper as tight as I possibly can in order to keep it from getting so big when I'm going through the cutting process. So just making sure that it's nice and secure will make uh, enable um, your printer to work properly and it not to move while you're actually cutting. So you guys kind of see me troubleshooting it here because I wanted to just show you how important it was to secure that tray. Now, once your tray is secured and you have rolled your paper through properly, the next thing you want to do is just follow the promptings on your screen for your cutting. It is so super simple. It is so fast, you guys. I could not walk away from this project and come back. Like it was already complete and I, I could not like stay ahead of the game. So removing the vinyl was super easy. The smart vinyl is incredible. 
I absolutely love the Smart Vinyl. It works so well. Um, when I got ready to detach the pieces, I normally trim off the um, extra pieces because I always reuse them. But because this was my first time working with it, I wanted to make sure that I was doing it properly. So once the vinyl is removed, you can go ahead and adhere it to your t-shirt using your Cricut Press. So that's how easy it is for it to come off, you guys. So super simple, so super incredible. I was so stoked with how everything turned out. Um, it, it was so easy. I cannot say enough um, about how easy this entire process was. It was gorgeous. Uh, everybody really enjoyed their t-shirts because of course I wanted to have that personalized touch. And again, I will be taking you guys through this full tutorial at the end of this video so that you can see it. Now, one thing I want to mention here, um, and I did not mention it before, is that when you are printing, um, you want to make sure that the shiny side is down so that when you're ironing on, you know, you're going to print in the like in the mirror. You're going to print it, but you're going to turn on the mirror um, tool prior to printing so that it will adhere properly. So yes, it, I made a couple of mistakes before I got it right, but I just definitely wanted to walk you guys through it. Although it's pretty self-explanatory, you know, I didn't do it right the first time. And I wanted to kind of show you guys that so that you won't end up wasting materials having to go back and do it again. So that is that. I'm going to, again, link the entire tutorial down. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys the entire process of how I designed it. It only took about four or five minutes to design it in Cricut, um, in the Cricut creator space. And so once I finished designing it, it was, it was like, two or three minutes, like it was just done. And I am so loving, you know, using the design space and using the new smart materials and the rollers because it is making my job as a creative um, so much easier. If you are interested in purchasing a Cricut, I will leave the link down in the description box below. You guys, these t-shirts turned out so cute. And even my father-in-law, like he loved his shirt that said Papasaurus. Like everybody was enamored with how the t-shirts turned out and how incredible everything looked overall. So I made t-shirts for every member of the family member along with the birthday boy and it just turned out absolutely fabulous. Now that that has been said, let's get back into the party decor. that when you're planning and designing weddings and events you always leave that personal touch and so for me I wanted to carry that personal touch from the clothing all the way through the table design now speaking of the table design I wanted to you know incorporate all of the beautiful dinosaurs that we see like the beautiful dinosaurs uh, plates that I found 
at the Dollar Tree and I just simply layered them with a melamine plate because they are kids and I did not want the, them to worry about breaking anything. For the cups, I got these little cute thermoses also from the Dollar Tree. And the cute thing is that they twist off. So it's great for like a snack or something like that. You can also monogram these using your Cricut. I almost monogrammed these, but I decided not to just because I wasn't sure of the guest list. Now along the table, I have all sorts of dinosaurs that I also hauled from the Dollar Tree and I just thought they were absolutely adorable. know that my girl Rachel over at Hot Mama's Bakery is a rock star when it comes to desserts. But when she did this realistic Triceratops cake, I almost passed out. It turned out absolutely amazing. And what most people don't know is that Rachel does a lot of this stuff by hand. I think that the entire setup ended up looking so incredible and he could not be more in love with all of the realistic looking dinosaurs in terms of the cookies and the cake pops and the Rice Krispie treats, the cupcakes, and of course the cake. I could not be more fortunate to have her in my life and to add her gifts and talents to the beautiful decor by creating treats that match perfectly. I was so enthralled with this and my nephew was ecstatic. So thank you so much, Rachel, for this incredible dessert setup. You are simply amazing.
And what is a dinosaur party without a dinosaur dig? The kids had so much fun getting it done. As with any event, details always make the difference. So from the little safari hats to the shivari chairs, like everything has to be extremely detailed. So I just wanted you guys to see all of the items that I hauled and how those items were incorporated into this amazing dinosaur birthday bash. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers. So here are the dinosaur plates. I found these. I've been holding them for my nephew's party, the little dinosaur, but he does not like these. So I won't be able to use them, but I wanted to show them to you guys anyway. So now for the tutorial portion, the first thing that you want to do is open up your Cricut Design Space. You can choose a template by clicking on the button on your left hand side that says template and then you can upload an image. Now I'm going to search over 150,000 Cricut images so that I can find the perfect dinosaur. And I love this one that says Papasaurus. I'm going to select this one so that I can customize it for my nephew's party. So there are so many different images here. I do love the design space for that reason um, so that I can kind of go in and look for whatever I need and I don't have to do that additional design work because it's already been done for me and it gives a very professional look. Now I like using the template because the template shows me how the size that I am using will actually look on the t-shirt. And so I know that this particular size is going to be really small because this is an adult extra large t-shirt. And so I want to make sure that it is going to be big enough um, for everyone to see and I don't want it really looking kind of dwarfed on the actual t-shirt. Now, once I have the t-shirt size, the next thing I'm going to do is select the machine that I'm going to be using. And I'm so excited to be using my all new Cricut Explorer 3 on this particular project. And because I'm going to be printing over 20 t-shirts for this event, and so I want to be able to use it without a mat. The other thing you want to do is to select the mirror. Um, you want to turn your mirror on so that it will print properly after you select to print without a mat. Now the benefit of printing without a mat is that you don't have to stop constantly. This makes the process so quick, you guys. I did these, I think over 20 something shirts and I think it took me less than two hours. And that was a record time for me. So I was super excited about not having to stop and use the mat. I had actually walked away, came back and it was done. So I really loved that process overall it just worked out really super well and also you don't have to worry about sizing when you you know have the roll on it kind of measures the paper for you and you don't have to resize a lot for that reason once you do that you want to go ahead and select the vinyl that you're going to be using I'm using the smart vinyl um, which is the iron-on and I absolutely love the smart vinyl because you guys, let me tell you, the weeding is so much easier. Like the weeding is amazing with the Smart Vinyl. And I like the fact that it, it just really cuts down on the time. Once you select your vinyl, it will also tell you to um, load the correct um, blade or tool. And once you do that, it's going to measure your material length. And this is like where it really gets tricky because sometimes when I design, I have a hard time telling if I've like over designed in terms of the amount of material that I have. But with the Cricut Make, the Cricut Maker and the Cricut Explorer, um, 
you can use the roll and it just it's really not that big of an issue after that you just follow all of the commands and it will the buttons will light up the buttons that you're supposed to press will light up the load and unload button the go button so you just you know follow the commands on your screen and on your machine and then it starts to cut the material super duper easy super super duper fun and it really added so much character and so much personalization to the party. So there you have it. That is exactly how I created these Wondersaurus t-shirts for my nephew's Dino 4 birthday. Everything turned out absolutely incredible. I have definitely been enjoying my all new Cricut Explore 3. It has definitely been a game changer and value added around my home and in my business. I cannot wait to share with you guys the new projects that I have planned. I have some pantry organization coming up. I also have an entire classroom that I'm going to be doing for the school year and some more home decor projects. So you guys stay tuned and I'll see you at the next video. Cheers!